na pagdugay dugay pagdali nag anhikay ganahan ko kitang duha diri mo pahuay hi everyone maayong adlaw sa inyong tanan welcome to this channel ako si Mayang and bagong salta sa ko sa YouTube world and I think my brother brothers will join me as well sa channel na ito they're not with me right now, but in a separate video, we will explain why we decided to create this channel and jump on the bandwagon and, you know, put ourselves out there for people to watch and for people to judge. But that's a separate topic for us, a separate na video. Anyway, this video is a quick guide on the international travel arrival in Manila, Philippines. Well, I spent a lot of time doing research and preparing for my travel and to be honest, it was very stressful. So I thought it'd be a great idea for me to share my experience traveling back to the Philippines during the pandemic. I'm really hoping that this video will help someone out there, especially sa mga kababayan nating uuwi din ng Pilipinas in the next coming months. So this travel guide specifically is for non-OFW who are fully vaccinated and who are traveling from yellow countries. In my case, it's United States. I-check nyo na lang online kung ano yung mga color coding ng mga countries. And just full disclaimer, the COVID travel protocols and requirements keep changing and I was actually a victim of that. Don't solely rely on this video, do your research as well. This was the process that I went through as of January 21st of 2022. So, before traveling, make sure that you have your passport with you, obviously. And fun fact, throughout this process, I found out that you can travel back home or return home with an expired Philippine passport. Hindi ko alam yun. So, passport and COVID vaccination card or COVID vaccination certificate. Next is you need to take an RT-PCR test. And kailangan negative ang results you can board in the plane. If it's positive, hindi kayo makakapag travel. Make sure that your plane ticket is flexible, na pwede nyo siyang ma change or ma cancel in case mag positive ka. Para naman hindi sayang yung bayad, no? Kung rich kid ka, then you can ignore my warning. So the RT PCR test need to be taken within 48 hours before your departure. In short, two days before departure. Actually, previously, this was 72 hours or 3 days, and then they changed it to 48 hours on January 14th, and my flight was on January 19th, and I planned everything, I scheduled my test, mga first week ng January pa. Ako namang sita nga, hindi ko chinek yung mga travel updates. Nalaman ko na lang na na-change yung requirement from 72 to 48 on the day when I got the result of my COVID test. I was so mad. That was very, very expensive. I had to schedule another test and pay for that test. It was annoying. So lessons learned, my point is, always check the COVID travel updates regularly. All right, I'm back. So next is you need to book a hotel for your quarantine in Manila. Pag arrive nyo sa Manila, they will check your hotel confirmation with at least 6 days or 5 nights reservation. And if you prefer not to book in advance, you can still make a reservation in the IA airport. And hindi lang siya basa basta hotel ha. It needs to be an accredited quarantine hotel. I check nyo na lang online kung ano yung mga hotels yung accredited. Next step, you need to register to the Bureau of Quarantine and fill out the One Health Pass online. You can register as early as two days before your flight. When you fill out your One Health Pass, you need to upload your vaccination card and your negative RT-PCR test. The Bureau of Quarantine will need those to determine the number of days for your quarantine and also when you... After you complete the One Health Pass form, it will generate a unique QR code and transaction number. Make sure that you take a screenshot or a photo of that QR code or if kung old school kayo, pwede yung iprint sa papel. That QR code is super important. Everyone in the airport will ask for your QR codes, even the taxi drivers. So keep it handy. So, to summarize, before your flight, you need to prepare these five things. Your passport, your COVID vaccination card, a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours before your flight. 
a confirmed hotel booking at your first point of entry in the country and the one health pass qr code during your travel make sure that you follow the covid protocols and guidelines of your airlines wear your mask wash your hands and sanitize and make sure you're not exposed to covid kasi kapag nag positive ka sa manila or sa first point of entry nyo may extend ang quarantine nyo so when you arrive you'll be filling out forms the customs form and arrival card after deplaning, you will need to head out to the Bureau of Quarantine area where you will be guided by our Philippine Coast Guard. So the so Bureau of Quarantine area, they will scan your QR code, they will check your vaccination card, your uh, negative RT-PCR RT test. Thankfully, when I arrived, wala masyadong tao, so medyo smooth talaga yung process. So after na maklear ka sa Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ area, then you proceed to the immigration area. Then you give them the completed arrival card and I think the customs as well. So after immigration, then you go straight to the Department of Tourism area where they're gonna check your um, hotel bookings and they're gonna scan your QR code again. So basically, they're just gonna confirm your hotel bookings, your dates, and you know all that details. And then they're gonna ask you as well if you already have transportation from the airport to the hotel. In fairness, super smooth yung process, hindi talaga masyadong magulo, and it was really fast that time. And then after you're done in the Department of Tourism area, then you're good to go. You are free to get your luggage. And I was so happy na ang mga tao doon talaga ay super attentive and very helpful. I had a great stress-free experience during my arrival in Aia Airport. So kudos to all of our frontliners in the airport out there. After I got my luggage, everything was all set. I was good to go. I had to remember to buy a new SIM card, exchange my currency from dollar to peso. And then I went outside and looked for a taxi. I really organized there. There were people who were assisting and helping me. So now, I am in my quarantine hotel room at Red Planet Manila Bay. They are super, super affordable and they have the basic amenities room. The hotel arranged my meals for an additional fee. It costs 750 pesos or $15 for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a day. If you are fully vaccinated, then you'll only need to quarantine for 6 days or 5 nights. And they're gonna schedule your COVID test on the fifth day of your quarantine. If your test is negative, then you can go home, but you still have to quarantine at home until the seventh day. If you're not vaccinated or if you're partially vaccinated, then you'll have to quarantine for 10 days. And then they'll schedule your COVID test on the seventh day. And you can go home and quarantine at home until the 14th day. So it's longer. For non-OFWs, your RT-PCR test is not free, unfortunately. Hmm. You need to pay for the test and it costs 2,500 pesos. You can actually prepay for the PCR test, I think after you complete the One Health Pass form online. I believe they'll send you a link for the payment, but in my case, I paid in cash. So today is actually my fifth day of my quarantine. So the Philippine Airport Diagnostic Laboratory came in this morning and took my sample. So I did a no swab and also the throat swab and i handed them my payment in cash i'll get my test result tomorrow hopefully hopefully it's negative but i'm na ako sa davao crap i have to book my flight to davao <laughs> i have to do that during my quarantine i've been keeping myself busy i've been really busy <laughs> applying for government issued IDs such as the Philippine National ID. You ho we already have a Philippine National ID. I'm so excited for that. The humid ID, the postal ID, I have to renew my passport. So really trying to lay the groundwork so I can start my life here in the Philippines. I've been reading books, watching movies, learning different stuff online and making this video. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow for my flight to Davao City cross fingers so I got the result it's negative uh, the result came out after 12 hours I think so it's very fast I booked my ticket this morning but a sure na sure jod um, so yeah I'm going to Naia airport in less than an hour uh, bound to Davao City